We'll guide you through how to record Minecraft for OBS. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, come to the OBS website and choose the operating system you go and use, and then go and download it. After it's finished downloading, you'll need to go and install it, and then go and open it up. Now, I have used OBS before, so mine will look slightly different to yours, but I'll go and explain it. So firstly, you want to go to scenes and you probably won't have any scenes or maybe you'll just have one. Go to the bottom left of scenes and click on the plus button, which will go and add a scene. You can go and name this Minecraft and then go and press OK. And now just before we get any further, we want to go into our settings. So go to the bottom right and click on settings. Go over to the left and select output. And at the top, you can choose the output mode. Just keep it on simple. It should be fine. You then want to come down to the recording section. First of all, choose the recording path. This is where your files, which you go and record, will be saved. So I just had them in my videos folder. Then you can come down to recording quality. Click here. So ultimately, this is going to be up to you. But personally, I just use high quality, medium file size. You can go and increase this, but you then go and get a larger file size. So high quality for me is fine. Recording format, I think MP4 is the sort of most compatible and it's still good quality. So I go and use that. For video encoder, click here. So if you've got the option for NVENC, I'm pretty sure this is only available if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. So go and use it if you can. Otherwise, just go and use software x264. That'll be fine. And they're the main settings you need to go and change. Next, you need to go over to the left and click on audio. And here, come down to mic and make sure you've got your correct mic selected. Also, in desktop audio, make sure that it's set to default or you can go and choose your specific device as well. Then go over to the left again and select video and you need to go and choose the base resolution. So for most people, it's just going to be 1080p. If you've got a higher spec monitor, like a higher resolution one, then you can go and select this top one, but 1080p should be fine. You then wanna choose what you want to go and scale it down to. So this is actually what your video is gonna be recorded in. So in my opinion, 1920 by 1080, which is just HD is fine. So go and use that option. And then you can go and choose the FPS. So the FPS is sort of how smooth things are. Ideally, go and use 60. It makes things look a lot smoother. But if you find that when you're recording, you start to get lag and things like that, then you can always come and decrease it to 30. But ideally, try and use 60. Then come over to the left again into hotkeys. And what I like to do is go and set a key so I can go and start recording and stop recording with a button. So click on start recording and then choose the button you want to use. I tend to use F12. And I also like to go and stop the recording of F12 as well. And then you can go and press apply and there the settings set up. So go and click OK and then make sure you've got your scene selected, which is Minecraft for me. And we now want to go and add a source. So go and click on the plus button. So you've got a few different options here. What I tend to do is I like to just go and capture my entire display. Therefore, I'll go and put Minecraft full screen and I can then go and start recording. However, I know some people like to go and use game capture. As I said, I like to use display capture, so I'll select there, then I'll click OK. You then need to go and choose the display you want to use if you've got multiple, so I want my primary one. If you only have one, that won't be a problem, and I'll then go and press OK. Now, as you can see, my sort of monitor is too big. That's just because of the size of it. To go and make it fit the preview screen, then all you need to do is go and click on the red sort of squares in the corners, and you can then go and resize it just like this. And it's sort of magnetic as well, so it's super easy to use. And now the final thing we need to go and do is go and adjust our audio. So firstly, you want to go and adjust your mic. As you can see here, you can drag it up and down. But what you want to do is adjust your desktop audio because this is going to be the Minecraft sounds and other audio on your computer. So I like to make sure that people can definitely hear me because otherwise the game noises can be too loud. You will need to go and test this out. So record a bit and then go and see if it's too loud or too quiet and you can then go and adjust it. So to me, I'll keep this on minus 26 like so as then you can still go and hear some background noise, but you can still go and hear my voice primarily. You've got two options to start your recording. What you can do is click on start recording in OBS and then go and open up Minecraft and make it full screen by pressing F11. Or alternatively, you can press stop recording. I'll do that now. What we can do is go and use the hotkey we set up. So let's go into Minecraft. And then what we can do is go and press on F12 on our keyboard. And we've now started the recording without having to go and press start recording in OBS. And yeah, and then when you're ready to go and stop, you can then just go and press on F12 again and the recording will be stopped. And so here it is just here. You can double click on it and then watch it back.